Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday here. Um, what day is it? Yeah, it's Wednesday, 3rd of March. The Ides of March are upon us. I think that was from Julius Caesar. I don't even know. Some smart-ass fucker said that. Uh, listen, Euro, bang. We fucking nailed that yesterday, right? Uh, 91 below. We got given 93.7s. Uh, sounds like a radio station. 119, 93.7. Um, so that was nice. Uh, we just danced out of those um, up at 58, just as a little tactical trade. This should go sideways now. Uh, but we're using the same theme. Any any sort of movement without big news driving it into that 119.50 range um, is a buy. Uh, but we're square at the moment. Gable. I don't really know what it wants to do, so we're just ignoring it. We talked about it yesterday, dollar yen. Um, you know population of the land of the rising sun is going to be on the offer at 107 uh, first time up we couldn't even get to 96 106 96 so uh, muted range I haven't checked the ladder but um, 107 is going to be tough to get through but once we do print it probably the third time through um, it's interesting especially if bonds continue to uh, go lower and yields higher. Dollar Swiss coming a little bit down to earth uh, after almost touching 92 cents back at 91.50. Uh, we're still in the camp that this goes higher. You're maybe a buyer at 91, at 91 uh, Swiss francs, but we're not touching it actually uh, right now. A couple of things we are looking at, uh, not Euro yet, the Kiwi end print yesterday we really liked. So now it's a percent away, but this level here, uh, just put it in the book, right? 77 cents. This is going to be very interesting going forward. Similar to your 127.50 level uh, in dollar CAD. You're going to need a really big risk off day for that, but these are important levels. Uh, they're levels you can make money on. And if they don't trade, it doesn't matter. It doesn't cost you anything. But when they do trade, you have to be ready. Let's go to Dollar Czar, this little slut bagger. I'm still sitting at 88 and a half with a bid. Um, you want to ask me if I got given those? Fuck off. Uh, I'm actually pulling that bid this morning. Now that I look at this chart, uh, could easily slip down into this uh, 7580 area. Uh, we're core long still. We got a tidy little average. Uh, so now we just sit tight and see how things go. Dollar China, we haven't looked at this in a while. 651 is interesting. You know, this is going to be like, these are like all of these sort of uh, bull bear lines, risk on, risk off lines. Uh, and if you don't feel like trading S&Ps or they're too wild for you or you suck at them, uh, currencies is a more... I would say, I don't know, lower vol way of expressing a lot of these things. Uh, I find it easier to take a stop uh, in currencies, which is why, of course, I'm better at them. S&Ps, I'm always like, well, I don't really understand. Uh, I don't really understand the price action, I guess, as well. But anyway, all of these levels, 77 cents in Kiwi and 651, the figure we'll call it, although 6531.30 was the high before in dollar China. Uh, dollar czar is 1537. These are far, but worth keeping in mind. Um, here's Ether. A lot of people are asking me about this after my tweet. You just want to own Ether, never short it. This is like buying Google at its IPO. Um, and let's just say the IPO is at 1,000. Everyone who bought it below a thousand had like pre-IPO money in, and they were like Series A, B, C, and D. Let's say the IPO for Ether is a thousand. Um, Ether is going to go, I don't know, to the moon over time. 
think of this as the building blocks of the blockchain in the same way that you could say Google was going to be like a foundational block of the internet. Um, I also like Lumens. We talked about that the other day. Uh, for financial stuff, that actually works better than Ether. So that's like a little secret gem uh, in the blockchain space. Let's look at bonds. I think 130 is going to be a good place to resell bonds. Where is this? Yeah. Oh, no, actually, one, 120. So between 120 and 130. So this high here is 127. These break up highs are 120. This shit should hold. Um, want to get long rates, short bonds, uh, if we get back down towards 120. Bitcoin, 40,000 held. But, of course, if you had a bid at 40,000, you got nothing. So it really wasn't super helpful. 43, eh, we'll call it 43,100, the low. This is just going to dick around for a while. The next move is lower. Um, a lot of dumb money fucking around in Bitcoin right now. So it's hard for me to, even though I like Bitcoin higher over time, um, man, the amount of uh, people who have no idea what they're talking about who are investing in Bitcoin right now um, is interesting, but slightly a worry because Bitcoin doesn't have really much marginal utility. People forget this. You can't do, you can't really do much with Bitcoin. Yes, you can get loans off your Bitcoin and turn that into fiat. There are credit cards you can use against your Bitcoin. Um, but as far as a blockchain that has marginal utility in the world, it doesn't really have any utility. It's a beautiful idea. Um, uh, controlling a money supply like that and... and uh, But I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like blockchain, but uh, I'll wait. I'll wait for 22,000. Uh, that's a 50% drawdown for SkyBridge. Sounds about right to me. Anyway, not a ton to say today. As you can see, um, watching this S&P here, just to give us a little clue, this is something we were drawing yesterday. This is sort of the channel we're in, or not the channel, the pennant. For those of you who are sailors, this is like your yacht club burgy. Um, I doubt many of you are sailors, but um, I don't know. We're going to break down the downside. We're going to break up to the top side. This could go either way. This could easily go to 4,000. It could easily go to 3,000. Um, I mean, this could, yeah, I guess that doesn't really make sense, does it? This could easily go to 4,000. It could easily go to 3,600. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, kind of 200 versus 280. Um, this could also go to 3,000. Uh, believe it or not, people, we are in the bubble. We are in a bubbly stage, so be careful out there. But we're using this as a bit of a barometer for the rest of the stuff. We'll try and buy some dollars are below our idiot 1488 and a half bid. Um, watching these big levels and the rest of the currency pairs, nothing's close. So not a whole ton to do today on this uh, fabulously sunny Wednesday in the United Arab Emirates. Good luck out there, people. Go ahead, make some dough. I dare you. Ciao.